The recipe for success, according to one Albuquerque businessman, is to start with an entrepreneurial spirit. Mix in a few college buddies and add a nagging desire to see the ancient art of crafting great tasting brews restored to its former glory. The end result? The Bosque Brewing Company. We all got this idea together at the same time, right? We decided, well, we like beer, we like business, so why not make a beer business? So we went ahead and started pursuing understanding the brewing process. We bought a bunch of really cool equipment, and uh, we just went for it. And so about two, after about two and a half years of, of planning and really trying to make this thing um, come together, we're finally here. I think what primarily sets us apart is the, the approach that we take to beer. We think that um, Albuquerque is served with a bunch of great microbreweries. And one of the things that is kind of overarching is that they're very uh, hoppy. And so we wanted to focus on some other, some other aspects of the beer. And I know everybody's doing it, but we wanted, to, we wanted to try something a little bit different. So for instance, right now we're doing a, a wheat IPA, which is a little bit sweeter, a little bit maltier, but it's also got that nice hop content that a lot of IPAs do. So we're just trying, to, just trying to play with recipes a little bit and focus on the malty and sweet side of things. When you come in here, you're going to get a, a, an experience of a great atmosphere. You're going to get friendly staff. The food is excellent and uh, the beer is excellent. So I think you're going to get just an all-around great time when you come in here. We're, we're serving two sandwiches that I'm really proud of. Well, actually, th three that I'm really proud of. We've got a pastrami sandwich that's got a stone ground mustard and Gruyere cheese on it. That's amazing. We've got a pretzel bratwurst sandwich that's a, a pretzel bun that has a grilled jalapeno cheddar bratwurst inside with a chipotle aioli, and I, I'm selling a, a million of those. And then uh, I've also got a caprese sandwich, which has a mozzarella, a pesto basil aioli, a little bit of greens and tomatoes, and um, some balsamic glaze on it. And they're all just delicious. We also have an assorted nut bowl that people can uh, purchase like for snacking foods. We've got pretzels, we've got something for everyone. So uh, if you wanna get a hold of us, you can find us online at boskybrewing.com. Uh, you can go to our Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash boskybrewing. Um, you can find us on Twitter at at boskybrewing. And our address is 8900 San Mateo Boulevard, Northeast, Suite I. We're right next door to Subway. Please come by for lunch or dinner. We will have something for everyone and you will not be disappointed. And I'm so happy to say that Jotha McNovich joins us in our Builder Source kitchen today. Hi, Jotha. Hi, how are you doing? Thanks for coming over from the brewery and Absolutely. bringing your fun to us. It looks so good. I was listening to that, that sandwich with the pretzel bun. Oh my God, it sounds so good. Now, okay, let me get right to it because you say that you were kind of convinced that beer in America had just sort of become terribly boring imposters of what real beer should be. So I thought that was really interesting. How did this inspire you to just start your own brewing company? Uh, well. I've been a craft brew drinker my whole life. Mm -hmm. I mean, I do not, I never, I never was able to go with mainstream stuff. Really? Yeah, so uh, I kind of developed this taste and passion for it, as well as my partners. We mm -hmm. kind of all started off that way. And then uh, we just decided that, you know, this, this beer that's mainstream is just awful. It's awful. <laughs> so we want to we wanna do something that is going to, you know, bring flavor back into beer. Yeah, well, I give you so much credit because people say things like that all the time. They uh -huh. eat or drink things and they think, oh, I can do this better. And you really can and you really did. And I think that's so wonderful. In fact, you had your grand opening, I understand, on yes. Friday. How did that go? It was amazing. We was were it? so crazy busy. <laughs> I think I was about four deep in the bar pretty much for about four really? hours straight. Yeah, it was it was insane and we had a we just had a blast. Well, now and after everybody sees this, it'll probably get even busier. And what I think is so cool is you also offer memberships. And I don't think yes. a lot of places do that. Explain how it works. Well, we have a, a Mug Club membership. Okay. Uh, we've got one that's an inaugural membership for uh -huh. this uh, initial year okay. where people can buy for $65. They get a dollar off their pints or a dollar off their 20 ounce pours well, through nice. 2013. Okay. And they get a bunch of Bosky swag. They get a t shirt, they get a growler, they get a hat, they get a uh, pint glass and an inaugural oh, wow. membership glass. That's and cool. And then we have the regular memberships that's mm -hmm. just a straight up Bosky membership, right? And uh, you get that for twenty-five dollars. You get a dollar off your your pours, a oh. dollar off your. Uh, I'm sorry, sixteen and twenty ounce pours uh -huh. for a year. 
That's great. And then you get a pint glass and five dollars off a t-shirt if you'd like. It adds up. I mean, yeah. you end up saving so much money yeah. at the end of the day, obviously. And I think people are really going to take advantage of it because your prices are also affordable. Absolutely. And you're not just going in there to drink. Like you said, you have a great menu, mm -hmm. so there's a lot of great food options as well. And then you can kind of when we come in, because for somebody like me, I always say this: I'm not as I'm not as good at figuring out which to pair with what, and that's why I like doing things like a tasting. Can Absolutely. you can you kind of guide people through that when they come in? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I can uh, I can help you pick a dish and a okay. beer that will pair well ni uh, nicely. Together. Together. Nice. And we offer flights too, so people can get a little two, two and a half ounce pours of, of each beer if they'd like to sample everything we have. Can we take our own little flight right now, have our own little hurricane party? Because I know everybody Absolutely. on the East Coast right now is stocking up and having hurricane parties to take off the edge, so we might as well start our day that way. Let's yeah? do it. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. I'll get started on pouring the other one. This right okay. here is our Kindling Golden Ale. Okay. This is our lightest bodied offering. I usually like the light, the lights. All right. And it's, it's in the style of like a German ale. That one's delicious. <gasps> I love this one. Wait, what's this called? That one's the Kindling. Kindling. This we, is what we, I would probably order. We called it Kindling because, you know, a lot of people don't even know what good craft beer is mm. to start off. So we wanted to give them something that's like an entry beer. It gets yeah. the fire started. This is good. Yeah, okay, good remember stuff. that so when I come in? Okay. Remember that, I love this That's your beer. This is the one I love. Okay, this, but maybe I'll right love here, this. This right here is the Mellow Brit. It's an English mild brown ale. I have a friend named Brit and he's quite mellow. I'll oh, remember that. There you go. The Mellow Brit. <laughs> okay, so wait, what, what's the what's the deal with this one? Is it more of a... That one's just a, a, just a light bodied uh, English mild and it's got a nice little bit of a honey tone to it. I was going to say, it tastes a little honey. Mm -hmm. But it's got, a, it's got a different kind of a flavor. Completely different. Yeah, it's a it's just, it's a good it's a good brown ale. That's all there is. I to like it. that. Thank okay, you. hopefully I can still do the rest of the show without slurring by the time uh. I get to the fourth. Okay, let's see. Uh, this one right here is the Cumulus IPA. So we had a little bit of fun with the IPA. You know, IPAs mm -hmm. are usually so hoppy and crazy. Yes. This one is a little bit mellower. Okay. It's got a nice sweet start. Mm -hmm. Hops in the middle, and then it finishes out nice and sweet as well. Okay, because I get a lot a, a lot of people that come on our show. They all love IPA. It right. Seems exactly. To be. We are an IPA city. That's for sure. Oh, I love it. This one's a little got a little fruity flavor. Yep, a little bit, yeah. It's a little fruity. Mm -hmm. It almost tastes like beerish wineish. You know, yeah. it's got like a mm -hmm. beer wine kind of. Absolutely. That's definitely not the right terminology, mm -hmm. but that, a little beer, that was drink number three. A, a, so. little, a little beerish wineish is a actually beer a right, the right term. Yeah, that's how you say it. <laughs> All right. And this one right here is the uh, Bosky's Burning Red. It's okay. a red rye ale that's got a nice hot profile. I and love a, the glasses. A little bit of a, thank you. A little bit of a roastiness to it as well. Ooh, now this one kind of makes me think of like if it's a really really cold night and uh -huh. you're sitting by the fire Absolutely. and you just want to have some like you said like you have the nut snacks uh -huh. and the pretzels mm -hmm. and have this this would go with that I think yep. really oh, well. Yeah. Yep. See, I'm already a connoisseur. Yeah. Who knew? <laughs> mm. I like that one. Okay, what's okay. that one called again? That one's called the Bosky's Burning Red. The Bosky's Burning Red. That's right. Okay. Last one we have is. Okay, the thank you so much, John. <laughs> okay, no, I'm kidding. Last okay. one we have is the Ember IPA. Ember this one IPA. is just a straight across the board IPA with a nice high hop profile. It's about 90 IBUs. Okay. And it's it's going to take the enamel off your teeth, so <gasps> it's good stuff. Oh, I think I like this one too. I think I think first and last are my two favorites. The first and last. Yeah. Wow. What is this one called? Ember. The, yep. Ember. Ember. Opposite end of the spectrum. That's kind of the way I drink my beers too. Oh my god, this one's a little bit. It's a. It goes down a little easier. Mm -hmm. I think it's a little smooth. It doesn't have any bitter taste to it. Some of the other ones are a little more bitter. I think. Really. In my opinion. That one's the bitterest. Yeah, the most I don't bitter taste one it. we have. So. Well, it might be because I also went through all these. That's true. Yeah. But you, I don't think it tastes as bitter. You did do it in the right order. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You went from from lightest. I think to I love it. Okay, so awesome. you know my favorites. What are your favorites? Uh, I'm I'm a big fan of this Cumulus IPA that was right good. now. Yeah. Uh, I did not expect it to be as big of a seller as it is because really? we just kind of took a shot with this one. You know, we wanted to to do something different and play around, uh -huh. which is what a lot of brewers like to do. But it's not you never know how it's going to be received. And right. people are are drinking this like we got another uh, another one brewing today actually because because it's been such a great seller. So That's so that, cool. That one's probably my favorite right now. Now can pe people can walk away with a with a. Like a growler? This? No, they can't they yet. Can't. Okay, not I'm, yet. I'm but still, at some point. Uh, yeah, I'm still in the process of getting the, the approval for that, and okay. I should have that. Uh, I'm hope I'm hoping within a month. Okay. Well, I have to say, I really recommend becoming a member because it makes a lot of sense. Like I said, it saves you money and it makes you feel more like a community feeling Absolutely. too when you come in. You know your members, mm -hmm. and it's a it's a nice thing. So let's remind everybody one more time how they can find you. Okay, you can find us at uh, 8900 San Mateo uh, Boulevard Northeast Suite I. And uh, the number to the brewery is uh, 433-4889. Uh, that's the number? Okay, so not yeah. what's on the screen? Not what's on the screen. Okay. Sorry about that. Let's tell them one more time. 433-3889. Uh, Got it. Perfect. Jonathan, thank you. This thank has been a pleasure. Much. I had fun. Yeah, what me a too. fun way to thank start the day. Much. Don't go away because last minute Halloween costume hunting can be scary. And after the break, we'll tell you where your costume search will end happily ever after. <laughs>